the character of Roxy, I saw over a dozen major film actresses for this role, which is tricky because a lot of them don't want to come into audition. And, uh, and when they auditioned, so they had to move, or did you just start off with dialogue? Or? You know what we did? We basically said, you know, if you want to be considered for this role, you have to come in for a work session. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to say you're not coming in for an audition. <laughs> but it really was an audition. But the difference was I wasn't sitting behind a table. You know, I was up on my feet working with them, as if I was working with them on the first day of rehearsal. Mm -hmm. You know, and in a funny way, I thought, this is good because they can also see if that feels right to them, and they can also audition me. Who's this guy, and yeah. do I want to work with him? So it was actually very comfortable. I, I mean, it's very important for me to create a very safe environment for people to screw up and make mistakes and feel like they're not going to be judged, you know, even in an audition situation, even in a work session, you know. Mm -hmm. But then Renee, I met with here in L.A. and convinced her to come to New York to do a work session. I needed an actress of great range. I needed an actress who was funny, who could play emotional scenes, who had great depth. Renee finally came to New York and we thought that she didn't want to do anything. She just sat there and watched and I thought, well that's it, she's not interested or she'll do it another day or whatever. We were walking out, as everybody's walking out she sort of pulled me back, shut the door and she said, show me that one step you were working on. She wanted to do it very privately and very quietly and I started working with her and I knew within seconds that she could move. You have to cast the role. I mean, of course they have to have the skills, the raw skills, but if you, if you do it the other way, you cast the singer-dancer and they don't, it's like you have nothing. Mm -hmm. You have a variety show. Yeah. Hello. They, 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 you know, <laughs> and you have to like, they have to be people. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. There are some extraordinary roles created by people who aren't musical people, but they have enough ingredients to get there and they make the role come to life. You know, it's more than singing, it's more than hitting notes, it's more than any of that.